let's all give a huge round of applause for low trek i don't know what button i'm on here but yay <laughs> all right guys aka carmen over here how are you doing <laughs> what up how carmen you how you doing can you we can me? hear you yeah yep. yeah audio sounding good videos looking good i i and I everybody can't hear you can, i can't hear can you can i just well. say I can I just say this is the first time that Low Trek is on time with something? <laughs> <laughs> he tried very hard here. Yeah. Uh, so you can't hear us very well, though. Uh, no, it, it's not. I, I think it's not your problem. I don't know why. Might be headphones. Do you have headphones or now? No, I don't. All right, no worries. We'll okay, make it no, work as I, long as. I, I, uh, Okay, let me try to to find them. Yeah, see if you can find them. Those may help on your end. Uh, if not, we can always just repeat things if we have to. So I'm not too worried. But or uh, alternatively, you you can just be yelling all the time. Yes, we'll <laughs> speak very loudly. That's what we'll we get you. We'll be we'll be yelling into the mic here. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Get. Get Dwayne to do some uh, dancing. And, uh, I get my <laughs> there you go. We'll get Dwayne to do. Okay, I've, I found them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a short dance. Okay. Uh, yeah, hopefully that'll help so you'll be able to hear a little bit better, but yeah. we'll see. No, I, I can hear you. Something's wrong with my iPad, I think. I don't know. Uh, they're definitely not made to uh, last forever. No, it's probably something stupid that I did. Okay. All right. How do, how's it sound now? Still too low? No. No luck? <laughs> now it's worse. <laughs> now it's worse? All right. Take off the headphones then. We'll just talk really loud. I wonder if is your volume turned all the way up too? Yes, it is. I, it's the first thing I, I checked. Weird. Okay. All right. Okay. Say right, perfect. How, how's it sound? No. No. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, man. Okay. Let's try now. All right. How's that? Yeah. Much better. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. You sound better, too. Okay. Really? Yeah. yeah the, mic, the mic near his hand there is good, so it works out. Ah, okay. Lotrek, how you doing, man? Okay. I'm fine. A bit, yeah, it's... A bit tired. It's, uh, it's midnight. Uh, right now here but oh. i'm okay well we appreciate okay. you coming on honestly it's been a it's been a while since we've had you on the show and it's it's always yeah. you know an honor to have you on the 24 hour steve yes, had I, to run off and hit you, the bathroom see, I, and he'll I, be back i'm always too busy trying to make sure that i will delay on everything so we can always help you out with that if you ever if you need ever need anyone to delay procedure production for you just give us a call we'll sidetrack okay. you completely okay, okay oh my god that. But dude, I have to say though, you did a phenomenal job with the uh, the future edition visions playing cards. I'm sure really? it was a, thank, a delight thank. working with Steve. He's yeah, over here now happened? munching on something. I was just saying how good Lotrek did with your visions deck. Dude, yeah, <laughs> huge thank you. Uh, just stupid amazing as usual. So thank you. Thank you. I I'm glad you liked it. Did it's, you see what I did with this? You see what I did with this one? With the yeah. The, um. The inverse inverted tuck that you did yeah see what i did yes. with the, the gilding mm -hmm. oh <laughs> okay some shiny right. gilding there yeah yeah okay yeah. do you know <laughs> why this is a the vision edition that the, it, it just has a, a gold foil yeah because it, it comes from the future when uh, nobody will be using hollow foil anymore <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. is that your dream? And then he and then yeah. of course he, then he yeah. and then he hollow gilded it. <laughs> yeah, my my, my, dream, my dream is to uh, to live in a world where people will stop slapping uh, hollow foil uh, on everything. Oh yeah. my gosh! No, I'm sure. Uh, Jackson, what do you eat? No, Jackson. oh, you drink. Jackson's over there. Like, what do you mean, no hollow foil? My wife, my wife brought me uh, two filet mignons. She cooked. Good. Oh damn! <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? No hollow foil? How come? Uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's, a, it's a wild dream. Okay, now now seriously, it it has become a 
uh, a trend lately. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And uh, it, it's a it's a means of uh, turning uh, sometimes. Okay, not not always. Uh, turning an uh, uninteresting deck into something uh, desirable. Yeah, I not mean, really I, I more think, desirable. Well, I think a lot. I mean, well, for me at least, when no. I see an uninteresting deck, it's still uninteresting. It's just uninteresting with hollow foil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, the, the problem is that uh, I I think that the hollow foil should be used very uh, cautiously. Yeah, yes. it, it's it's easy to to make it look uh, cheap. Yeah, I, if you if you don't say what I mean, it's it's very difficult to handle hollow foil and uh, still have a, a beautiful deck. Right, that's uh, okay, it needs to be used sparingly. Yeah, yes. A great I mean, example think, is the I, legal I, tender, though. Yeah, and, and I I think Jackson's it, legal tender, where it's the money one, and it's yeah. very it's it's hollow foil accents. It's not the the main focal point. Isn't the hollow foil? Yes, I know. It's the, no, it's the yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and I, and think, I think that's a great way to do it. Yeah, there, there are ways to 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 make it uh, look brilliant in uh, <laughs> both literally and, uh, but uh, yeah, you, you have to be very cautious. Jackson's uh, no Dwayne's uh, <laughs> 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 work <laughs> was brilliant Dwayne, on that. Wayne Dibley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wayne, Wayne Dibley. Uh, Wayne I, and I think Dibley. It, it's the same thing with like photography, you know. You can't just take any image and turn it black and white. It's not how it works. Yeah, exactly. You know, there, it has to be specific or black and white. It it, it actually has to be designed uh, or shot in a black and white uh, mentality. Yeah, no, hundred percent. You know, and yeah. and that's the crazy thing. And when I shoot a wedding, I, yeah. I tell the the wedding party, like the bride and groom, that I don't shoot in black and white, and they're like. No. What do you mean? You don't shoot them at all. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's at, the, at the beginning of their, of their right? life together. And I'm always like, I don't shoot black and white, so I, like, I, that's not what I do. I, like, I, I, I shoot I only just... Chinese. <laughs> yeah. The, then they're like, well, I can just turn the image black and white. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. You could do it. Yeah, it's not going to make the image look good. You know. Yeah, exactly. And people or, or classy or or whatever. Yeah, there's definitely rules in design. There's rules in photography that you just don't kind of cross, you know. And I yeah. think that's the difference between an actual designer and someone who, you know, just wants to do something that they think looks good, but they don't have that background and that talent to yeah. understand what actually does look good. You know? mm -hmm. So yeah, to to dude. Okay, go ahead. No, nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I was going to ask how, how many hours are you? This are is you the start now? of hour eight. Hour eight, yeah. yeah okay. So we, so we have sixteen You're, to go. And is a uh, Dwayne with you from the beginning? Yes. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. He's, he's yeah. on for the whole thing. He's he's been doing yeah. some amazing design work here too. Which before you pop off, yeah. play in about let's forty minutes. Do we want to check it out now? All right. Yeah, let's check it out real quick. All right. Let me. Okay. Uh, Wait, why is it showing? There we go. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Yeah, stiff upper yeah. lip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stiff upper lip. You, mean, you did it now? Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Dude, he started, he started a little after 9 o'clock, so about 10 o'clock, let's say, he started it. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Dude, that's so yeah. good. No. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dude, look at that mug. Yeah, I love that. That's a big I love mug. the colors. I love the colors. Yeah, I love that light yeah. blue. Yeah. The light blue is so good. Jackson, <laughs> I'm a big fan of that like muted tone that you use like in yeah. Alice in Wonderland and yeah. um you know, Tiger's deck, I think. I, I really enjoy that, that yeah. color. Yeah. That's your sweet spot. I like the little paws. They have paws. <laughs> yeah, the little paws holding the flowers. Yeah. <laughs> so, so good. good. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah, coming together it. nicely, though, man. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. I was, trying to, I was trying to get as much of the court cards done while everybody else was talking. 
Yeah. That so looks I, great. I, I, are you going to finish this uh, within 24 hours? That's the that's the hope. Okay. Old truck is shuddering right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like 24 hours. That's crazy. Yeah. I need 24 hours to start drawing. <laughs> to draw to draw a pip. <laughs> <laughs> no, for the pips it's uh, three days for its pip. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's it's funny. It takes it takes three days for him to draw the pips, but to print the pips, it takes three months. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a different process. Yeah, oh, different God. process. You know, I love <laughs> it. Funny. So, low track. What's uh what's next on uh, in line for you? You have a lot of stuff coming up. I keep hearing teasers yeah. about a, a new crypt deck potentially. Yeah. No. It, yeah. It's uh, it, it's based on on the concept of crypt, but uh, people will be allowed to show pictures. Nice. But uh, they will get it uh, sight unseen, and uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, I, I can't say much more, <laughs> but I, I can definitely say that this is going to be the most expensive deck I have uh, produced. Oh wow. And I, I I cannot even dare to think uh, how many print runs I, I will have to scrap in order to get where I want. It's it's a very difficult. I think technically it it will be the most difficult deck ever printed. Mm. Yeah, really. I I, I mean it. And um, that's exciting to I, hear and depressing yeah, I, at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> I I, I maybe I'm. I may not be able to do it uh, eventually. Uh, I need to <clears throat> do some test prints yeah. that will uh, determine whether I can do it or not. But it's very ambitious, technically and uh, artistically too. And uh, if if I manage to get it right, it will be amazing. Nice. Well, we look and, forward uh, to that. Yeah. No pressure, whenever then. that happens. No so, pressure, no worries. You're just yes, I, I, I think that... Uh, in uh, in a time frame of 10 to 12 years we will have the first uh, <laughs> samples <laughs> so so you're, print, you're you're printing with USPCC <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh maybe not jackson uh, jackson okay, <laughs> okay yeah what's uh Look. Jokes what? aside, I, I I hope that uh, in uh, in a month or two I would have the first uh, samples. I I okay. have a problem with my printer. I I, I told you about that. Uh, one of their main uh, operators had an accident with a bike. Oh man! Uh, yeah, and uh, they are working at uh, half capacity with double orders because of uh, Christmas time, and uh, it's uh, horrible. I normally I would have two two decks to to show here. But uh, they're in the pipeline forever. I, I don't know what, what I'm going to do. Is that one of is one of the maestro? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I have already printed uh, a version of maestro that uh, I'm not going to use because I changed my mind. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, here. You can see. Oh, nice. Nice. And uh, yeah, I will have uh, the the back design will be full bleed. Nice. Oh, oh that's gonna like be really this. fun. Nice. Yeah, that's your and, first uh, full that, bleed, right? Is that foil though, or metallic ink? No, it's metallic ink. It's. Uh, it looks. It looks so much. Yeah. Dude, that, new, that new metallic it, yeah. ink is ridiculous. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Crazy. It almost has like a matte foil look to it. Yes, sometimes uh, if if you see the the stock unvarnished, it's even more uh, bright, brilliant. Oh well, wow. more that looks really good the, though. Yeah, the problem is that uh, when you apply the varnish, uh, the white part uh, gets uh, shiny too. So there's a competition between the 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 sheen of the metallic and the the paper. If it's okay. unvarnished, <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, that's anyway. really cool. And, <laughs> uh, like, right. Are you gonna yeah. play any music for us today? <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> maybe, maybe. Sweet. I, I have my. My Barry Sachs here, maybe. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, yeah why exciting. not? If uh, if Jackson is uh, dancing, I will play. 
I'll dance. You don't even have to ask Jack, me. Dance. Jackson, oh Jackson will take a break from his designing and dance while you play. Okay, okay. I'll do a jig. And I, I what I'm doing right now is trying to finish the royal silk. Yeah. And uh, okay, here's the thing. Uh, what happens? What what happens in the things take uh, so much time? I changed my mind uh, during the production. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really. If this guy, if this yeah. guy can make up his like doesn't change his mind as much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this was the first um, the first take for the silk. Nice. Okay. That uh, looks so good. Yeah. It is good. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> but I I wanted to to add some more depth. This is only one foil, okay? Anything okay. you see here, it's uh, even even though those patterns is uh, as you know one foil. It's not a patterned foil, okay? This huh. uh, those uh, tiny thin lines are on the plate. Oh wow! Yeah, many people think that uh, uh, this thing here is a, a patterned foil. It's not, okay? Yeah. It's just gold foil semi-gloss gold for so I, I i wanted to do something to add more depth and uh, i thought that uh, i could use uh, a different foil a more um, a brighter foil for the borders okay but this didn't really work i didn't like i don't have a sample here so <laughs> i stopped production once more and uh, i redesigned the the whole deck <laughs> and, oh man! Yes, I mean uh, the plates actually, not uh, the article for the plates. I, I didn't change the, but it, it took me quite some time. So, what do we have here? And this is the final um, take. Is this? Oh, that is wow! Oh, cool. Okay, oh, it almost looks metal. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. This has two different uh, two different uh, gold foils. And on the borders, I have the background uh, with a se with a semi gloss foil, and uh, the pattern. Uh, I, I don't know if you can see it here. Hollow. No, no, it's not hollow. It's a, <laughs> the re a reflection of the. <laughs> yeah, the, the computer. I'm just the, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, on top of the semi gloss foil, I have the um, the pattern with a gloss foil, and. The, I don't know if you can see it here, but the result is uh, is very impressive. It's almost like silk and uh, and gold at the same time. It's a, it's I'm I'm very happy with the uh, with the result, and uh, I believe people will be happy too. Okay, nice. what's the back design look like on that for those who haven't seen it? Uh, yeah. This is an approximation of the back design because this nice. is only one foil, right? Okay, and I have this option too. This is two foils, again, but uh, I will eventually Look do something. Yes, it yes, it's very different. I will eventually do something between a combination of those two. Right. Yeah, probably I will keep the. Just a moment. I I, I will keep this one foil uh, stuff here in the middle. Mm. And uh, I will add uh, this border. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, beautiful. The the experiments go on, <laughs> but we have started production very delayed. That's true, and uh, it it goes very slowly because of the time of the year. It's before yeah. Christmas. Everybody remembers that they need to do their cards and <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Uh, but okay, it's uh, it's coming out very very nicely. I'm very happy. Awesome. And uh, I have also changed the. Um, I have completely changed the the way I'm uh, I'm printing those. Uh, I I'm printing them in uh, very small portions. Mm -hmm. uh, very small plates in order to get a perfect uh, registration. Oh, nice. Now, how how many plates are you using per card? For uh, no two two plates per per card, but. For the whole uh, deck, uh, I need the 24 plates. 
24 Damn. plates, it's 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 a lot. Yeah. That, How many that plates really do you usually use for a deck of cards? Normally, the, uh, uh, de depending on how many uh, foils it has. Foil, right? Yeah. If uh, if there is only one foil, I I use uh, six plates for a deck. If I wow. if if I have only one foil uh, on the back, for example, I use six plates. Wow. Now this is four times the uh, four times that twenty four plates. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. I'd love to see that process, you know, as it's getting stamped. I'd love to see <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> yeah, but I just like to see. I mean, I don't want to sit there and watch the, you know, the yeah. whole entire print run, but I just want to see, you know, the those uh, that first run, that second run, like just one pass through. Yes. Know? Yeah, the, the, um, this is uh this is the beautiful part when yeah. you see the the design uh, coming out complete and the uh, Everything you have uh, envisioned, you see it in front of your eyes, and uh, it's too late to make any changes. Yeah, now <laughs> not for you. You just redo it, right? Now, unless if, you are me, yeah, so exactly. it's never. Uh, I'm, I'm sure never Jackson's uh, redone a few decks in his lifetime. That's for sure. <laughs> Only if I misspelled something. No, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. If, well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, Depends if you catch the misspelling there, right? <laughs> If, uh, have you ever done like a prog, like a progression kind of like maybe a progression type thing where you have it prints one, you know, one stage one, take that, take one, you know, one. Yeah. I, 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 yes, I, I tried, I tried to do it once, but, uh, I got confused and I lost the, the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. You should try it for this. You should try it for this one because there's so many plates. It'd be really cool to see the progression of, you know, all those. Yeah. Stages. Okay. It's a, it's nothing really special. It's actually two foils. Uh, the progression on this is not particularly interesting. Like the progression, for example, on the uh, Omar's deck, uh, the Dynasty. Yeah. That uh, had all those layers of ink and then uh, the foil, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What I love uh, in this deck in uh, Royal Silk is that all this brilliance and this uh, <clears throat> impressive result uh, comes from two just two foils, yeah, which are both gold. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, I, I like trying to to produce uh, some magic through the ways uh, I, I use the foils, uh, the design, uh, and that stuff. And, and this is the the part that that uh, takes most of the time in uh, in design, you have to yeah. to do some tests. Uh, you you have to redesign <clears throat> many things because it's not always as you have imagined it. Sometimes it is if you uh, uh, as you gain uh, experience, uh, you can more easily uh, envision how it will be. And uh, how how the the real thing will uh, will come out, but sometimes it's not exactly as you thought it would be, and uh, sometimes there are technical problems. You cannot use a uh, material that uh, you wanted to use, so you have to redesign. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you never get bored. <laughs> that is very true. That's good though, man. I mean, I think that's one of the best parts about what you do. You do it for the experimentation and the the beauty of it, the the learning aspect of it. You know. It, Obviously, people love the fact that at the end of the day, you get an amazing deck out of this and so many people collect yeah. the works that you do. But you can't just be driven by the fact that people want to buy what you make. You have to make it interesting for you. No, I don't, I, I don't care about that. Okay, it's a, it's a good thing knowing that people uh, will get anything you do. But uh, if you start uh, producing crap, uh, they will eventually stop buying yeah. anything you do. Yeah. No, that's true. I, I, as I've said many times... Uh, the reason I'm doing complicated things is because I'm very lazy. <laughs> How does that make sense? Does that even make no, no, sense? he likes to take his time with it. He knows it's complicated, so it's going to take him a year. He gets to no, do no, one thing it, in a year. No, no, it's not that. <laughs> doing co complicated stuff, uh, the process is uh, exciting. All right. So, oh, okay, that makes sense. I, I, I don't feel that I'm, I'm working. I, I feel that I'm playing. No matter how tired I get, uh, there's always something interesting and something uh, exciting about it. Yeah. 
if I just start printing uh, printing stuff without the um, uh, the factor of the creativity in it, it, it becomes uh, a job. Yeah, and I uh, work. And I hate work. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you are lucky. I'm so lazy. <laughs> Oh, dude, hey, I, I totally understand what you're saying. It makes complete yeah. sense. You know, I think I think more successful people, you know, you have Jackson who is the same way in the, in the fact of like... Is he lazy? Do, no, 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 not, not lazy, but like focusing on the stuff that he Stop loves to do. Stop get, get down to work, Jackson. Uh, just <laughs> focusing on the stuff that he loves to do so he doesn't have to feel like he's working, you know, yeah. and, and letting other people do that stuff he considers work you know what i mean yeah. and i'm yeah. sure there's decks that he's done where he has considered it work oh yes and uh and you know and <laughs> me and too that's why uh, yeah right <laughs> uh you, you, you are master Leo, Leo, thank you buddy. We appreciate it. jackson has a new are. name he is now he is no longer dwayne dibley he is now master master violinist nice. violinist i thought that was leor <laughs> Dude, if you're ever in San Francisco, you gotta come watch him play in the symphony, man. Oh. Yeah, Lior is in the San Francisco Symphony, man. Dope. Yeah, he's a musician, I know. Yeah, I I, I went to see him a couple weeks ago, actually. Uh amazing. It was beautiful. What did he play? You mean he, uh, he was a solo player or a, in, in the orchestra? Like in the orchestra. In the orchestra. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was Beethoven okay. number nine, so uh-huh okay it wasn't really any solos but it was uh it was beautiful, beautiful stuff dude okay so i have some play. yeah oh, go ahead no go ahead i have something have to show you here and uh, this is our first giveaway Ooh, let's see all right giving away something we didn't even know that all right yes i'm very generous <laughs> okay this is a uh, one of the first samples I got for uh, Moresque Gilded. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And where's the camera? Right there. No, you're, you're, no, to, go to your uh, right. There you go, right there. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, this is the first print, print run that uh, eventually was not uh, used. And uh, there will be about uh, 500 of those decks, all oh, wow. gilded. Nice. And uh, the rest will be scrapped. Right now, I, I don't really remember why I didn't use this one. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, pre it's pretty good. <laughs> Are you talking about the deck or the ace? No, the deck. Oh. <laughs> the whole deck. Yeah, okay. Maybe... <laughs> I really can't remember. Maybe the 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 the, the indices are not very legible. Nice. Oh, those, is that the old? Those are the old indices? Yes. This. Uh, yes. I have uh, changed them a bit. Not all of them. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. That's tough to read. And uh, of course, there is only <clears throat> silver uh, silver ink here on the borders. Oh, instead uh, of the gold. As yes. Well. In, in the in the final edition, there is uh, also gold. It's a uh, yeah. All right, so Lotrek, how long do we want to give people to join in on this giveaway here? What do you say? How long do we want? How much time do we want to give people to get in on this giveaway? Let's give them. Well, I, we have another giveaway to do. It, 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 it's up to time. you. I don't know. Uh, All right. Want to do like a 10 minute one, Steve? Yeah, let's yeah. do 10 minute and then we'll right. do yeah, okay. in the next 10 minutes, we'll do another one. Okay. All right. Yes, we have another so, one. Dirt Dig. Giveaway. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank Dude, you. Okay, name? the low track giveaway is started as well. And what what was the name here? <laughs> Doodle Mancer level one hundred plus two. <laughs> oh my god, it's not the first time you heard that name. Doodle <laughs> Mancer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, same thing. It's great. The, the old Doodle Mancer. <laughs> the, old, the old Doodle Mancer. Oh my That's god! So I love it. Guys, All right, everyone. I, I, so the I raffle is open. Is, everybody is having some uh, great names here. We love it. 
Yeah, no, absolutely love the names. The raffle is open for the Moresque Gilded Sample Deck that Lotrek has there, so make sure to get your raffle in, exclamation mark raffle in the chat. We will be picking a random winner at the end of the 10 minutes. There's a timer on this one, so once the 10 minutes is up, an announcement will show up in the chat that says no more entries are being accepted, so make sure to get that in ASAP. ASAP. So, Lotrek, <laughs> how when you're creating a deck like this, and like you said, you know, you don't even remember necessarily why you didn't go with this version. Yes, that, that's funny. Okay, do the question. Or, the, I was gonna uh, say, I, like, how many? How often do you go through like three or four iterations of a printed deck itself? Every uh, <laughs> maybe half uh, half of the times. Okay. Okay, uh, I, I do that uh, whenever there's a problem. Actually, okay. not uh, just uh, aesthetic reasons, but uh, sometimes, uh, yes. The, we got a request in. Thank you, Jackson. We'll we'll allow this. Jackson <laughs> has changed his name to C Dub Papa. Oh my God, C Dub Papa. <laughs> Coming in. There we go. The C Dub Papa. That's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you, little trick. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. <laughs> He didn't like okay. the doodle mat, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. So how many times? Yeah. Um, the funny thing is that uh, I have changed some, some prints because I didn't like the, the colors. And uh, after some time, when I see the rejected print, I say, why did I reject this? It's nice. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean, you, you even reprinted my deck. Yeah, okay, part of it. Yeah. D did I? Oh, good. I don't I mean, remember you said anymore. You, did. you said you did. <laughs> All right, so how many decks are you really reprinting out there? <laughs> oh, my God, I love it. I, yeah. I, yes, I did. Yeah, I think because yeah. of the black. I think that's you reprinted yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm almost uh, every day at the printer, and uh, I print stuff. Okay, you, the, you, you fly you fly to China every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I, I'm very lucky. Yeah, I'm very I gotta lucky say, to... you are lucky to have a printer so close to you that you can actually use for this stuff. Because I'm sure Jackson would love to be oh. so much more involved in the process. You know? Yes. No, you don't go on Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> really, believe me. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. That's I so love funny. it. I mean, have you found in time, like, because you've printed with other printers now at this point, or have you exclusively used this local printer for all of your past, what, two years worth of decks now? Yes. Yes. How have you ever sat there and been like, oh, sometimes because of time constraints or other things like that, it would be easier to just use someone like Cardamundi or Legends or USPCC? Or are you really like dead set now because of the print quality and the experimentation you can do on only using this printer for you? Well, uh, no, I, I, I'm not married to the printer. No. Okay. And, uh, actually, uh, my Codex deck will be printed by Cardamundi. Okay. Uh, oh. There are some uh, some limits in uh, what I can do. Uh, the main reason I'm doing it is uh, because I, I love being there, and uh, I love watching the process and uh, changing things uh, during printing. And of course, they can they can print uh, much faster than uh, what Cartamundi can do. I'm sure. And uh, but. Uh, I, I usually do a CMYK printing and then uh, I do the foil. Uh, I, I'm using the different providers for those uh, two uh, printings. So if something goes wrong to, to the foil, I must get back to the printer, start over again, and uh, go back for the second foiling, etc. This. Uh, this is very time consuming because I don't I don't uh, own those companies. They have their own clients. They have other clients that uh, they need to work for. They are not just waiting for me when uh, I will go to to print. So I, I may have to wait uh, 10, 
10 days to two weeks sometimes in order to start uh, printing and uh, for, now that i'm printing the royal silk i have we have to interrupt because they have other stuff that are very urgent they need to okay. print the uh, so i cannot i don't print every day right. for example last day i was printing was uh, uh thursday oh well, now, okay i will print again on monday or uh, tuesday yeah i mean i think it's smart bringing in you know if you if you can and if they're up to par with your basically you know your standards uh whatever that may be for you know any designer or whatever you know jackson's printed with multiple uh manufacturers because he's doing so many decks and to wait for one specific yeah. manufacturer it would take fucking forever you know oh, yeah. so i think Learned my lesson yeah and yes. i think I, I think that will allow you to get more of that work done that you wanted yeah. and if the company makes a mistake you say you made a mistake rather than you having to worry about it reprint it and all this other stuff it's on yeah basically the company's hands you know in my case it's not uh, like that because I, as i am present in the printing i i cannot say it's your mistake <laughs> mm. because they say but you were there <laughs> you no. were watching it's it's not our mistake <laughs> sometimes it is their mistake but uh most of the times it's my mistake yeah i think anyway no i, I i'm not complaining i i really love it i really love it but at some point it uh, it got too much it got too much for me very very time consuming and uh, I, I could not focus uh, on the design which is right. the uh, the essential part yeah and is that another reason why you're not working with third parties anymore like other people to design stuff or print stuff for them or stuff like that yes yes it's uh the the responsibility is huge yeah for example, look what happened with uh, with Omar's deck. Yeah. With, uh, I could not deliver something that uh, was not uh, at least very good. Yeah. And uh, I had so many problems, and uh, Omar was uh, so anxious about uh, uh, starting fulfillment, and uh, all this uh, thing made me very nervous. Actually, this was the uh the deck that uh, made me decide uh, to stop printing for uh, for others it was not omar's fault of course i had a uh, uh, great uh, cooperation with omar it, it just happened to somebody else's deck if it was mine uh it would be different but uh, i just can cannot do it uh, anymore and understandable I, 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 it's gonna be I, stressful I yeah, very stressful, and I lost a whole year of uh, creation right. trying to, to to get things uh, done correctly. Right. Yeah, I mean, it makes uh, sense. It's, yeah, you you want to be taking a year and putting that into your own work. You know, that's a lot of that's a lot of time yes. to not do your stuff. You know. But okay, as I as I gain more experience. Uh, I make uh, less and less uh, fewer mistakes uh, regarding the production. I mean, for example, uh, I, I cannot call uh, the changes uh, that I did in, uh, in Royal Silk uh, mistakes. They were technically it's uh, it's going brilliantly. Yeah, there are no no problems whatsoever. I just decided to do some uh, things uh, a bit uh, different. Mm. So, I don't have this uh, threat uh, of uh, production failures and the mistakes that uh, can happen at any time. They they can't anymore. I I I have uh, I have mastered the the, the production, the technical uh, aspect of the production. Nice. Okay, anything can happen at, at any time, but it's not the usual thing now. So it looks like the raffle just ended for the Marusk deck. So okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a winner here. Should pop up in the chat in a short second. Hopefully we get someone uh someone new, a big there we go. Richo1331 has won the Marusk <laughs> deck sample. 
Richo, congratulations. Make sure to send an email to show at deckingaround.com. Okay. We'll get your intro. Yeah, we'll get the information over to you, Lotrek, so you can mail it out. Show at deckingaround.com with that information, Richo. Well, what it, I didn't say is that uh, this uh, deck will be sent uh, on, a, uh, on a soft uh, carrot case cool. without the uh, paper tag case. Okay. Oh, nice. So that the non openness will be cured. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a good looking sample there too, though. He's going to love yeah. that. Congratulations, Richo. I'm excited to see. Dude, that was an awesome, awesome one there. Dude. Okay. You want to start? Do you want to start our giveaway now? Because we have our All giveaway, right. right? Let me pull it up here. Uh, custom. This is the mixed half brick from Jay. You got it and a half brick from Jet Setters. Okay. So we are giving away a mixed half brick from Jay, who you saw in the chat earlier, and a half brick of Jet Setters as well, so a full brick we're up to on this one? Yep. All right. So make sure to hit the exclamation raffle mark in the chat. This one's going to be running until the end of the hour, so you have about 17 minutes here before we pick another winner. Exclamation mark raffle in the chat. Dude, that's a fun one. So low track. No, I remember. I I I, I didn't print uh, your your deck, uh, Steve, twice. I I did the second print for the extra cards. No, but I think there was a uh, an issue with, or maybe it was the top. Did you reprint the tuck box? Maybe. Yeah, the tuck box was definitely three okay, times. I think there was a problem with the black, so that's what it was. You reprinted. Yes, the yes. The deck I was think printed. you ran them all, and you had to redo them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Crazy. crazy there was crazy. a. There was. A, uh, actually, I, I don't think that any anybody would uh, would ever notice the problem, but I did, so I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. Sh he showed it to me, and I was like, uh, "Okay." I don't, <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with this. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to do what really. you got to do there, man. C Dub C Dub said, "How's his papa doing?" <laughs> doing real good. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. It's uh it's so creepy, but so good. <laughs> Jackson, one day we're gonna do a poll to see how many people wish they were your dad or you were their dad. <laughs> <laughs> like oh. three three people. There it's the Dawn's early like Oh look at this. We have is this a saxophone coming out here? I'm yes, right. it's a Barry. It's... Barry sax. Right. Uh, bar okay, Barry sax. Let's see. You're gonna, you're gonna, there you go. Dan He's got his dancing shoes on. <laughs> uh oh, there it comes. Let's see what Something I can do. Slow and sensual. Slow and sensual. Here we go. <laughs> just a moment, just a moment, Jackson. C, C Dub, this is, this is your father's uh, mating dance here. So. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Something happened with my. He even has the, he even has the Michael Jackson glove on. Oh my god! <laughs> <Thriller>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I love it! I love it! <laughs> Thank you, John. John we'll switch up the name. We'll show you shortly, buddy. <laughs> Daddy <laughs> oh, he's got that swag going in that leg. <laughs> now he looks like a dog being on a fire hydrant. There you go. <laughs> Dude, your Swing wife's going to walk in and be like, what the hell? <laughs> Swing, it, Dick. Swing it, Daddy J. Oh, my God. Great, Jackson. Great. Oh, my God. <laughs> well that done. Epic. That's, that was smooth, bro. Very Make sure you nice like and Jackson. subscribe to the video, please. Yes, <laughs> that is one hundred percent going to become a YouTube short right there. So you just <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, I love I your hair, do Steve. You like that? My hip. That's yeah. my hip look. Oh, yeah, man. great. I, I, okay. I like it with the hood up. It looks cool with the hood up. Well, I have my headphones on right now, so you can't tell, but it looks. <laughs> the hood. Steve. Steve wishes his beard was that epic. Dude, no, I don't. <laughs> I can't wear a beard like that. 
Dude, anyone can wear a beard. Doesn't mean it looks good, but you could do it. I mean, I could do it, but I could. It wouldn't look good. That's for sure. Do it. Do it. You like that Suicide Viking? Thank you. He says it suits me. See, Dub, here you go. This is for you, Jackson. Oh my God, he's so white. <laughs> Bro, I think yeah, that was in reference to your yeah, dancing. That's, yeah, that's Whatever. slow mo stank like going though. Oh my god, it was I mean, good. If I'm white, then C Dub is just as white as me because I'm his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're not his dad, you're his daddy. I'm his papa. Oh, papa. Oh, the papa. <laughs> oh my god. So low trek, in spite of all of the uh the hiccups along the way, obviously you still have such a big passion for this. You know, you kind of mentioned with the tale of the tempest, it was a lot of stress working on someone else's projects and having some of these uh yeah. these issues come up. Do you miss the collaboration with other people or is it more enjoyable for you now that you can really focus on your own work? Uh, the latter. <laughs> All right. I mean, I, I, I would assume that, you know, people like working on what they enjoy more than what other people enjoy. Yeah. So have you, although does it feel I, I, more, I, less stressful? Yeah. I, although I had no, no problems with Omar or with, uh, uh, Andrew that, uh, I'm working on, uh, Monte Carlo. Nice. Uh, it's just. Does that mean you had a problem with me? <laughs> yeah, I, with you, I had serious problems. I would talk <laughs> later about that. <laughs> Man. Oh god, I love it. Okay, uh, that's, that's that's tough. <laughs> Life is tough. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm okay with that though. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. No. Uh, actually. Uh, I can't say if if I miss that or not because I'm still working with uh, Andrew on the v, v, VX gaming, v, yeah, VXD gaming. But uh, yes, I, I I feel much more relaxed and uh, now I can focus to the on the on the projects I have on the I pipeline. See. There are too many, too many right now, and uh, all of them very exciting for me. Yeah. At now, least. when, when is my um, Codex? Because obviously, Codex is coming as well. Which one is coming first? Is it Codex, Maestro? Like... No, Maestro first. Oh, okay. It should have been ready, but but uh, yeah, because of this issue with the motorbike, uh, I, I'm still waiting. Right. Yeah, Maestro cool. first, then <laughs> it's funny, but yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yesterday, I had an idea uh, for a for a deck, and uh, maybe this uh, will come uh, just after Maestro. Ah, we'll see. It's twenty-four. Uh, Twenty-six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're being conservative there. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's good. Dude, Halam's the, the, in the, the house. The, what up, Halam? The 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 big project is uh, Codex. Nice. Yeah. Dude, Codex has uh, been in the work for a long time, though, right? I mean, yes, you teased uh, that originally last year. Yeah, yeah, eh. but uh, with all these uh, problems I have, I had with Tempest, I could not focus on uh, on the Codex. Yeah. But uh, eh. now I, I have started again uh, working on it, and uh, I'm I'm very happy with. Uh, I, I have a totally, completely changed the back design. I, Initially, I d I did two different bug designs, and the uh, people uh, the and Pat and Patreon uh, go to uh, to choose which one they liked fair, uh, most, and uh, it was uh, about uh, fifty fifty. Nice. So that's I, a that's a tough one for you there. <laughs> no, this is easy because uh, if it's fifty fifty, it's uh, neither of uh, of the two. Okay. You, you you have to do a third one. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah, if you like both, none of them is good. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And, and uh, have you found have you found that like well, someone just asked too. You know, do you feel relief now that Tale of the Tempest is finished? You know, it's it's a good question. Do you feel less stress? Oh my God, there we go. It's C Dub coming in. There you go. Thank you, CD. <laughs> <laughs> All caps, horrible white dancer. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Which is ironic because our next guest just popped into the background and she is a phenomenal Spanish yeah. dancer. 
but we will bring her on in a little bit. I see your eyes. I see you're (laughs) celebrating back there. But so, Lochek, throughout the whole thing, have you really just felt relief when you've come to the end of the tale of Tempest? And to add on to uh, Ruben's question there, through all of the hiccups, did you feel that they were learning experiences at least, or was it things that could have been avoided? No, they couldn't have. uh, No, it was a learning experience, definitely. Yeah. Uh, And that's why I, I, I don't regret any of the of the hiccups or, or, or I don't regret anything because uh, from each step from uh, every mistake that I did or others did I have learned something for the future and uh, the printing industry is uh, very difficult <laughs> and especially printing playing cards is uh, maybe the most difficult uh, you can do in printing uh, industry yeah Jackson. So, I'm gonna shout Jackson out here real quick. Changed his name back to Still C Dubs Papa. So <laughs> I like this. I, I like this little naming war going on here. So he keeps stops changing it back to C Dubs Papa. I love it. I love it. <laughs> but so now you know when you walk away from these projects and you you do have those learning experiences. Oh my God, C Dub, I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's it's a naming oh, god, war. This is crazy. Red-headed, red-headed, red-headed <laughs> stepchild. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I can't. C dub, we love you, buddy. I can't. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's perfect. So with that being said, so you know, you feel like you walked away with learning experiences from this. Does that impact how you design no, other I, things I, in the I, future? I, I, I didn't walk away. I, I'm still there. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, you, you've, yeah. you've gained learning experiences from it, yes. though. Does that for you? Does that feel like? Um, does that change the way you do future projects? Do you now yes. look at some of the yes. things you had yes. in the works and change them yes. based on that? Yes, because look, the, the things that can go wrong are are too many, but they are not endless. Okay, you know that I have this, 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 that, etc. If you fix all those issues and the uh, you make a, a working pattern. Of course, you are, you avoid problems. The the goal is to to stop having so many problems. But the thing is that as I always experiment with new stuff, I make sure to get in trouble every time because yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. For example, I, I I have some new ideas for uh, for stuff. For new stuff to do, and uh, maybe I will have to to face new new problems and uh, yeah. new obstacles. But this is what uh, no, it's not only this, but it's a uh, part of uh, what uh, makes it so interesting to to work on that uh, on that field. Now, do you, you know, do you notice you, is, is there more difficulties printing on colored stock like purple or you know brown? Or, does the ink take differently? <laughs> Yes, you you need uh, different inks first. First of all, okay. different time. Uh, you, you you need the uh, UV inks. Yes, it's more difficult to to print on uh, color stock, of course. Yeah. Now, is there only certain colors that come through? Like on a purple, for instance, do you know reds and golds and stuff come through better than other ones? John, thank you. Thank so you, much. John. Oh, look at that! <laughs> See, Dub's baby daddy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <clears throat> The problem is that uh, you you have to 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 print a, a white background first, okay, and then on on top of of that uh, you have to print the colors because uh, so it's the, kind of how the colors Kyle does their their cold foil. No, it's a different process. No, it's a different. But I'm saying how they have to print the cold the like silver foil first, and then the color yes. goes over that. Yeah, cardamom is a uh, cold foil is is printed like that. Yeah, it's a uh, you treat it like a like an ink, like a color, but it it needs to two printing stations. Right. So, so, so they they first apply the the, the silver foil and the, then the colors on top of that. Right. It's such an intricate process. It's very intricate and. Uh, <clears throat> There are so so many factors that uh, can affect uh, the result. For example, the the, hu- the humidity, uh, yeah. or the the, the <clears throat> stock quality. Everything is so 
<laughs> so ever changing there. And the, the okay, the big companies are trying to have a steady temperature and the humidity in the place they are printing. But uh, different stocks uh, behave differently right. when you print. And uh, the more colors you use, uh, the, the more difficult it is to, to get uh, the registration correct. Because as the, the stock uh, passes from the, from the printing stations, it, it, uh, it expands a bit. So for the final colors, it's very difficult to, to get it uh, right. Right. The registration is uh, always a bit uh, slightly off. And how much now, it is, uh, it, it's off, it depends on the stock. Now, does the stock, if you have a colored stock like purple or brown or whatever, okay. does that take humidity differently? Does it not allow humidity to get in as much because it's coated differently? Or? No, I don't, I don't think it has uh, anything to do with the color of the stock. Uh, the, but the, the quality. And uh, yeah. when I say quality, I don't mean how good or bad it is but uh, how it is made right some materials absorb uh, more uh, humidity some others uh, don't does not mean that uh, the first is uh, a bad stock and the second is uh, better so we actually had a good question yeah, yeah, the, here too. The, I'm good. there is a, a one word that uh, rules everything in the printing uh, <clears throat> industry depends <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So we have a great question here from Erica. If I can find it, it keeps jumping away from me. Erica wanted to know, have you used UV ink and are you using any sort of like UV hardening or UV reactive spot inks? And any interest in using UV inks in the future, like UV reactive spot ink? Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question, the terminology. So if if you if like you, you, can't, can, you uh, can't see the ink until you shine a light on it. Yeah, like I, a clear ink that a black light would make, uh, f like fluoresce. Yeah. Okay. So what? Uh, Have you uh, used any inks like that no, in the no, past? And no, is that no, something no. you think? Do you think you would ever use something like that? No. No, I don't no. believe I I will ever use that. All right. I I can see it not necessarily being your style, but it's an interesting kind of thing that we're starting to see with a lot of uh, a lot of decks that came out in the past year or so. Yeah, the, the, they're impressive, definitely, but it, they feel way too gimmicky for me. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so Erica was saying you mentioned that you used a UV ink on colored stock. I yeah. think you mentioned you used a white ink, right? Yes. Oh, you mentioned there was a UV. You have to use UV inks for colored stock, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so is that like a – is that a – would that like react with like a black light or something like that? Like if you shine light on it, does it look different? Ah, okay. No, uh, UV inks uh, <clears throat> are inks that uh, are cured uh, with uh, UV radiation. Okay. Okay, and that makes they, sense. And uh, they dry immediately. That's the uh, yeah. That, that's the uh, interesting. Uh, the, the reason why I use this ink, I need uh, I need them to to dry instantly. At least the the white background, and then have the the colors on top of that. Nice. Okay. If you cool. don't use uh, UV inks, all the stock, uh, all the papers will stick together. Okay. Yeah, There's it has nothing to, you want there. Yeah, it, it has nothing to do with the final appearance of the. It has to do hmm. with the the way it uh, it dries. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. You want to close Lotrek, out this raffle? I just closed out the raffle. I got to say, Lotrek, awesome. as always, it's been a pleasure having you on. I, I can't Thank bring you, myself my to pleasure. call you Carmen, but you know what, though? No, honestly, it's been fun talking <laughs> It's been fun talking about all the things that could go right and wrong with a deck of cards. And honestly, yeah. I have to say, as much as everyone may give you a hard time for being Slow Trek or the other names Slow that they Trek, come up yeah. with, <laughs> yes, but I have to say, you still come out with some of the hands-down most creative and most innovative printed decks out Thank there, you guys. No, I, I, I think so. one day it would be amazing to see a uh, Jackson Robinson low Trek collaboration. Oh, hell yeah! But it would also, but it would also, I couldn't imagine you two like J Jackson who wants his decks yesterday and low Trek <laughs> who wants it perfect. So yeah, me too. It would, it would be I, I interesting. I them yesterday too. No, That's you know what have right. to be. It'll, it'll have to be low Trek doing like working on the design with Jackson and then Jackson taking it from there and then getting it printed. That's what it has to be about. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that, so, that might work. That might yeah, work. Right? 
So, damn, I got to say, congratulations again to Mepper. That's a second win for Mepper right there. Congratulations. Mepper. Mepper you're already That's sending us your address. Can win. He can't win yeah. again. So, Mepper, congratulations. Feel free to send us your address again, but we already got it there. Show at deckingaround.com for anybody who didn't make it tonight. But we're going to be having another raffle coming up in a few minutes here. Thank you so much. And low truck again, yes, man, we always, always, always appreciate you having you on. It's been a Thank pleasure. You. We appreciate Thank you guys. staying up late for us it's as well. My pleasure. So, Yes. Get yourself some sleep, and we will have you on again soon to talk about, especially Codex. We'd love to have you on to chat about it. So okay. we have a couple yeah. lined up. He's going to come on one day and design a card for us, a court card. So we have. Some I'm excited. Yes, we said we, we we said that we have talked about, about that. I, yeah. we'll I would happen. like to. I I would like to show how how I I am working on on a specific type of uh, courts. Yeah. Uh, it will be a standard court. But uh, it will be interesting to see uh, how it's done and why. Nice. Well, we'll make that happen. I, we are 100% down for that. It would be okay. an amazing experience. Thank you so much for coming on today, man. We really appreciate thank it. You guys. Thank you, guys. It was fun. See you, man. Bye, Jackson. Bye. Keep it up. <laughs> yes, you too. Keep playing. <laughs> oh, my God. We love it. Night, Lotrek.